Dr. Kent and Tariq Aziz as the ambassador. <laughs> Now, remember when we first went over there, it was Desert Shield? Then the actual action was Desert Storm. Do you know what they're calling this one? Seriously? Operation Determined Resolve. <laughs> Doesn't quite make it, does it? How about a catchier name like Operation Drop a Smart Bomb in Saddam Shorts? <laughs> They say that most of Saddam's scuds were eliminated. He's going back to his old defense system, catapulting goats. <laughs> do, you, do you know he's... He's, listen, he's gone from the fourth biggest army in the world to the 143rd in the world. But he gets first draft pick. <laughs> No, 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 no. Very nice of you. Thank you very much. Robert. Well, President Bush officially launched his campaign yesterday at the Grand Canyon. Uh, the Democrats officially launched theirs at Lourdes. <laughs> um, you know, Bush is... A, I like Bush. But originally said he wanted to be known as the education president. Remember? Now he wants to be known as the environmental president. He better start coming through with those promises or he's going to be known as the ex-president. <laughs> did, did you see the pictures on television of the president and his party walking through down the trail in Grand Canyon? Everyone except John Sununu. <laughs> who managed to find a government mule he could ride down there. But the... Uh... <laughs> I thought the president was kind of clever. He used the Grand Canyon as a backdrop to talk about the environment. Did you know he's in Los Angeles today? He spoke a tra about transportation, so he used the Century Freeway as a backdrop. <laughs> now, to get the appropriate backdrop to talk about the federal deficit, the president has to go back to the Grand Canyon again. <laughs> See, now, on the Democratic side, uh, so far announces Paul Songus, Governor Harkin of Iowa, uh, Wilder, um, and who else? I guess Bob Kerry of Nebraska may join it. Did you know most of the Democratic frontrunners for president are bachelors? Yeah. You know what worries me? Do we want a, want a president who calls Jessica Hahn singles hotline? <laughs> and last week... <laughs> Jerry Brown, who may announce, former governor of California, invited the other bachelor candidates for a wild night on the town. Uh, they ended up at a seance trying to contact the ghost of L. Ron Hubbard. <laughs> but the Democratic slate is filling out. We have Saunders, Wilder, Harkin, and Brown. Now, you know, all they need is a little dog named Toto in an oil can. <laughs> and they're all set. Have you seen the news today with the elephant at the Los Angeles Zoo? I, I, I forgot the name of the elephant. Hannibal. Hannibal. Heavily sedated. Apparently, they have to clip her toenails, they have to sedate her. They put her out. She weighs 20 tons. And they had to bring in a crane to get her back to her feet. And luckily, she was rescued because an alert zoo attendant saw a message spelled out in peanuts. <laughs> near the cage. It says, I've fallen, and I can't get up. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> elephants are very smart. You know, they do that. Uh, been watching the new fall season on television? Yeah. Have you noticed to bolster the ratings what some of the TV shows are doing? They're adding new cast members, well-known actors, to kind of hype the ratings. For example, I think... Richard Crenna is joining James Earl Jones in a show called uh, Gabriel's Fire. Is that the show? Uh, Ed Asner is joining uh, Sharon Gless on The Trials of Rosie O'Neill. And Heather Locklear is taking a Pat Buchanan's place on the McLaughlin Group. <laughs> okay. 
Have you seen some of the shows trying to juice up their plots for the new season? Some shows went a little too far. Next week, Burphy Brown claims that she got pregnant by Geraldo. <laughs> Going too far. Now, here's a true story in the paper today. Scientists at Tufts University had developed a new form of yogurt that they say helps stop diarrhea. God, life in America just keeps getting better and better. <laughs> Tonight, Robin Williams, Jonathan Winters, Mark Overall.